Hi, this is Scott Simmons from Richland College, and I'm going to show you how to set up an image plane with a, to play back your video reference in Maya, so you can work off of that while you're blocking out your scene. First thing, uh, I'm going to go up here to Render Settings, and under Image Size, Presets, uh, pick HD 720. That's probably the resolution your video is in if you used your phone. Close out of there. Then in the view part, on the panelist menu there, go into perspective and hit new. Oh. Uh, rename that new camera to something like scene cam. Then in the viewport view menu, go to camera settings, pick resolution gate, then view settings, image plane, and import movie. Now under files of type, you know, one thing my doesn't like to do is recognize MP4s in the uh, in the open dialog box. So under files of type, pick all files. And scroll, you know, navigate up to or to up, down, sideways. Navigate to where your video is. Select it. Pick open. And there it is. Scrub and yeah, you know, scrub on the timeline, and it'll scrub through the video. Now, your video is probably going to be kind of like mine, in that it's not at the action point where you're wanting it. So, uh, viewport menu, go to view, select camera. And open up the attribute editor. Go into image plane. Yeah, go into the image plane shape tab. Depth, you might want to set that a bit deeper, 1000, to avoid having things in your scene try to crash through the image plane. So scroll up, go to frame offset, type in the frame you want to jump to. And there it is. Scrub through a little bit. I don't think this is going to be as long as I want it to be, so I'll change the in frame on the timeline to 320. I happen to know that's where I want it to be. Alright, and then the next thing is going to be orienting the camera to actually match up with the physical space, you know, to the physical space of the scene to line up with the video that you've brought in on the image plane. So one of the easier ways of doing that is bring in a reference object. Uh, uh, I'm going to create a box to match the box I'm picking up in the uh, in the video here. Go in the attribute editor, polycube one tab. I happen to measure that box. It's 14 and three quarter inches wide. Uh, seven and a quarter inches. No. Oh, Eight and a quarter inches tall, seven and a quarter inches. Oh, come on. What? Deep. So, close that. You know, close the attribute editor and 
since it's eight and a half inches high and kind of halfway through the ground plane, I'll just translate it up four and an eighth inches. All right. And now just hold down the Alt key and uh, left mouse button to pivot, Alt key and center mouse button to translate, Alt key, right mouse button to zoom in and out or truck in and out. Just try to get it to match up with that box there. That's pretty decent. Um, this is not an exact science, and you shouldn't be trying to fake uh, rotoscoping or uh, motion capture when you're doing this. You're just using video as a reference. But yeah, there, your scene is all set up. So go into view on the viewport menu and select camera. And then just pick all these channels in the channel box, translate, rotate, and scale, all of them. Right click and pick lock selected. That way you cannot move this camera. And if you need to pivot around, you can go panels, perspective, persp, and do all of your wheeling around and changing perspective to get your pose right in here. Then go back into perspective scene cam and see how it all lines up. So at this point, all you need to do is reference in your character. Um, Use the root control on it to scale it to the appropriate size and get to animating. So, have fun.